Luke joins us now. Good looking weather out there. I know it's really nice mm -hmm. right now, but it, we are looking for storms coming Friday night. So we've actually okay. upgraded to a severe weather impact today for storms that will happen later on in the evening. So if you have a time you want to be weather aware, the timing of that around 6 p.m. and through midnight, maybe 1 a.m., where the threats for that could be some hail, uh, some damaging wind, and then there is a low end tornado threat that we'll talk more about in a minute. But I think the main threats there, just the hail and the wind outside. But again, it's so nice out right now. We have nice blue skies. Uh, that's the Henry Dorley Zoo sky cam, and it's warm, 82 degrees. It's breezy, though, so that might be the one caveat if you step outside today. You're going to have some wind for a little bit longer. Temperatures for most of our communities in the 80s. Lincoln's at 85. That's the warm spot. Some 70s as well, 79 for Atlantic, Creston, York, a little cooler at 77 degrees. Uh, but we do expect temperatures to drop a little bit as we go towards the evening. But again, we're staying warm for the majority of the evening. 73 as we get towards sundown, and uh, it's going to be clear overnight. So whenever you have those lower dew points and it's clear overnight, not a lot of moisture or clouds to handle uh, or keep any warmth in, we're going to drop a little bit. We'll be in the upper 50s to start tomorrow and then to end the day tomorrow, almost a 30 degree jump. Temperatures getting into the mid to upper 80s, even some areas further south. Look at Beatrice and Fall City uh, forecasted to get close to 90 degrees tomorrow. But again, I did say we have a chance or the threat potential of seeing severe storms. That's why we've upgraded Friday to a severe weather impact today. So there's going to be a warm front hanging north of our viewing area. These storms firing on it near Norfolk, or at least that's where they'll be at around 7 p.m. They're dropping down. 9 o'clock, this model has those storms getting in there. So if there was a low end tornado threat, it'd be with one of these cells. If it, they do end up firing and look like that off the warm front, they stay isolated. But then they cluster together around 11 o'clock and they kind of start pushing off to the east. There's midnight. You can see still that model picking up on some storms closer uh, to the Omaha Metro and then officially out of here uh, by the middle of the night. But in terms of threats for what location, if you're in eastern Nebraska, that's where the bigger threat is for hail damaging winds and the possibility of a tornado. But the marginal risk threat, the one out of five, the green area, that's more so just some hail, just some damaging winds as that cluster of storms kind of weakens as it pushes off to the east. So again, severe weather impact for Friday for the evening. Saturday looking a lot better. Some clouds out there, low in shower um, possibility. And then Sunday getting a lot more sunshine. So a pretty good weekend there. Clouds Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday we start warming up. Look how we go from the 70s up to the 80s for Wednesday. 87 degrees for a forecasted high. And then look how we just turn the door for Thursday and we're at 90 degrees. So some warm weather as we get towards the uh, middle of June. But again, just have a ways to receive warnings as we go into Friday night with the threat of some severe storms. Sure, that's good to know so we can plan ahead. Yes. Okay.